Hello everybody, welcome to day three of ISC 2017. We're here in Amsterdam. Uh, we're in the Scala booth, which is in Hall 8, the digital signage hall. And I've got uh, Chris Regal, who is the recent CEO of Scala above me. You can see the logo above our head, but Chris is, of course, long time digital signage industry veteran, CEO of Stratacash and a number of other companies in the thing. We'll get to talk about that in a second, but this has been our home for every lunchtime. Thank you, Chris, for letting us for have sure. this space. So we've been running um, lunchtime sessions with Scala Partners and learning a lot about Yaiska Bank and um, Ocean Outdoor, yep. some really big installs that Scala have been involved in. Uh, KPM stores, we had a good session this morning with yep. KPM. Uh, I have to say, uh, with Chris here in front of me, I guess I have to say, but you've got some great partners and they've been doing some great work. There's some real award-winning projects in, in Europe. In I think the value of Scala as a whole, when we did the acquisition around it, was to say that you have 500 partners with tens of thousands of years of experience in digital signage. And think of Scala as an ecosystem that allows those partners and those customers to flourish. Mm -hmm. It's really about building that better experience and making Scala the platform that enables that. Yeah. And I mean, there's so much there's so much hidden in there, really. I mean, right. Scala has been going for 30 years this year, I think. Um, yep. You were kind enough before your time, but Scala with Harry Horn, uh, your big CMO now, um, was kind enough to support our Gala Awards five years ago. Yep. And that was the 25th anniversary. That's right. when we painted the whole room red right. for Scala. So we have to yep. thank you for that. But it's the 30th anniversary this 30 year. 30 years now, yes. Yeah. Um, one, of, one of the funny things, because we're at the Rye, um, not many people realize that Quinn, one of your big uh, partners here in uh, the Netherlands, was responsible for all the wayfinding. Exactly. Around yep. the store, 700, sc 700 screens right. running since, I don't know how many years, but 2010, 2009, least, yes. a yep. long time. Yep. So it says a lot about Scala equipment and the software and how the whole thing works. And it's together. A, it's <clears> amazing <throat> all of the locations that Scala is in that you just never picture it. Never Scala is it. arguably the largest software company in out of home digital media mm -hmm. that you don't know about. Yep. Scala is in wayfinding, is in hospitality, is in so many different sectors where yep. it's it's epitomous with the digital science industry in many ways, the same way you would call a tissue Kleenex or a can of soda Coke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's arguably about the digital outcome. I think you and I have talked about it before. I yep. mean, you, you count up all the billboards that Clear Channel have got and all right. the individual billboards around yep. the world. <clears throat> you must have thousands and thousands, and I don't think there's that many networks that big. So. It, exactly, and I think that where Scala is a great footprint for those service providers to be able to have the freedom to do what they want. They're mm -hmm. not tied to a software vendor A or B that says you will run your network this way. Right. It's a platform they can customize around their yeah. business. They can plug their own ELP in, exactly. their own programmatic buying system exactly. if they wanted to do that. Exactly. So um, you've owned Scala for how many months now then? The Coming up on six months. Six months? Yep. And what changes have you implemented in that uh, time? So I think the biggest things that we saw when we came in was that Scala was not resourced properly. The business had been uh, a very, very solid business, profitable business, but had not done the R&D, had not put the financing into development uh, in the way that a, a modern software company has to right. do. As the market's matured and continues to grow bigger and bigger, every generation of software is a bigger investment. Mm -hmm. So it's, it was incumbent upon us to come in and say, we're willing to spend the money to grow that business. Uh, within two weeks of acquisition, we doubled the size of the development team. So we're making big investments in development and product in all the necessary areas to be able to really grow. Uh, Scala as that world-class product mm -hmm. and make certain that all the things that are necessary as the industry has moved from more and more of an AV footprint to truly a digital and a web HTML enabled environment right. make sure that Scala crosses that chasm right. successfully. I'm not sure you've announced DXP publicly yet but I know you've been talking to your partners about right. it. Right. They seem to be as excited as we were when we first saw it a couple of weeks ago. It, absolutely. EXP is a is kind of a, a black ops project but it, it's tremendously interesting as you look at a screen whether it be a large format a tablet a mobile device and saying how do I unlock application value on that screen. Scala in Enterprise has historically been traditional digital signage. We're now branching that out in EXP to go after many, many markets on app enablement, app delivery in that retail space or in that customer engagement space that are perfectly valid digital signage use cases, but EXP drives a completely modern mm -hmm. interface around it. Now, you guys do a lot of shows. I mean, Stratocash have got a good history in the retail event yep. space and the casino space yep. and some of the other <coughs> divisions of your business. But Scala have been around. Uh, I guess DSE, ISE, Infocom. I think yep. you're returning to Infocom this year yep. from a Correct. Scala perspective. Yep. So everybody can see them there in Orlando. But the one thing that we were most impressed with this year from you guys was um, 
and I guess I don't know if it was the Stratocash perspective that did it, but it was the NRF right. show. Right. I went to NRF with very low expectations. Yep. Uh, I came away loving the show, wanting to go back next year. Yep. There must have been 20,000, 30,000 retailers at the show. Absolutely. Very well uh, put together by NRF. The association yep. is the equal in many respects. And I think Infocom could learn some things. Infocom are good, but they right. could learn some things from the right. way the Retail Federation put hey, their stuff together. And the Retail Federation show brings end customers, actual end users. Mm -hmm. It's not as much about uh, a tech show. It's yep. about what does that enable. Yep. And that's the key point to a show But like you've that. been there from Stratocash perspective for many years. 15, you've been ahead of the 16 curve. 16 years, yes. And then, so this year you brought together Stratocash, Scala. There was a little bit of Neocast right. there. Right, a little bit of RDM, yep. But you've got big plans for NRF next January, I believe. Uh, absolutely. So next year we've got the consolidation, larger booth, uh, a, a combined moving company up a presence, level. moving up to the, the upstairs Top level. Tier. Exactly. Yeah. And I think as, <clears> as this market has matured, it's now digital signage 10 years ago was in the very back corner. It took us that long to move up to the very front. It's like moving from the kids' table to the adult table at Christmas dinner. Right. Now it's seen in that environment as a standard part of the trade, important to many of the buyers that are there, and there's much, much more demand. We came out of that show with just under 1,500 leads, wow. which two years ago, that would have been 200. So yeah. it's, it's growing very rapidly. Yeah. And you've got people this week at the uh, the gambling show, it's like gambling, it's not the wrong, right, what, the, the casino show in London? The, I see I the see. casino and lottery show in London as well. Yeah. So yeah. you've got many verticals to cover. Correct. What would we expect from, to DSC, you always have a, a sort of, you know, you've, you've had a stand on the show floor. Right. Scala have a stand on the show floor. Yep. What are you doing with DSC this year? So DSC and Global Shop are, are concurrent. Same time, yeah. This year. So we have Scala at DSC uh, because Scala had not been gotcha. at DSC for yeah. the last several years. And you're going to tell me and you've got... And then Stratocash is at Global, Global Shop. Shop. And you've yep. been in Global Shop for five, six, seven years. Now. Probably 10 really? or 11. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah, we, we, uh, we did um, Global Shop a couple of years ago. Uh, it was the famous time when we got sued by a big music company right, that right. we won't, uh, won't make any mention of. Um, just because we learned some off the record comments. They weren't off the record, but we learned some comments at the show. I remember seeing you there at that show. That was also when Global Shop was the week before DSC. Right. I think we stayed right. over on the weekend. Good show, but again, I've never any. I've seen music companies there, right. and I've seen you, Stratocash, there, yep. but nobody else seems to, to get the fact that Global Shop is a good opportunity to meet people. Uh, it, it, there's the, the fallacy in this industry that you go to tech shows and then you're just talking to your competition. Mm -hmm. I want to go to, to shows where you have end customers, where there's opportunity, and you're there to inform. Right. There's At this show at IC this week, it's been extremely refreshing yeah. because it's probably 50-50 mix to integrators and partners to mm -hmm. end customers. So you're seeing end customers reaching out more around right. digital, and that's where the opportunity yeah. really is. The more I learn about your empire, and I think I'm big enough to call it an empire right. now, uh, we'll be calling you Kaiser, Kaiser Regal soon. Um, sir or Lord would Sir or Lord would do. Well, you're not English, so you can't be a Sir or Lord. I'm sorry. We can honorary give you a Honor. Sir. There we go. That's an honorary knighthood. Um, your empire is quite huge, and you have office space all over the place. I learned that you've got some places in Florida that you've acquired with acquisition from yep. uh, Verifone and yep. others. So, and you're going to be at Infocom in Orlando this year. We'll be at Infocom in Orlando. Scala had not done Infocom in the last, I believe, two years. Mm -hmm. Strategically, in our rebuilding of that Scala brand and kind of reasserting into the right. marketplace, there should not be any significant global event that Scala does not have a right. presence Makes at. It's not building the brand. Yeah, we. Um, yeah, I think you say two years. You might. I'm not sure. I mean, it was, you were probably with HP three years ago. Yep. To have your own stand, maybe go back four or five years. Because well I, mean, I know it's every other year, but Infocom in Orlando, we, we, we go to every year. It's our favorite. It's our favorite Infocom yep. rather than the Vegas one. So you got a big, you got a biggish stand there, or are you just uh, trying to reestablish your presence? Twenty by thirty, if I yeah. recall. Yeah, okay. pretty good size. Yeah. And what about your partner conferences? Because you're well known. I think we've said in the industry, or we said to the industry, there are probably three companies that are large enough. And you may disagree with this, so don't say anything. Sure. Or put your poker face on. Right, right. Um, you know, broad sign. I've got enough customers to have a partner conference. You guys have been doing partner conferences forever and they are absolutely brilliant, yep. absolutely superb. Thanks. Whether you do a European one or North American one, right. I've seen some of the best presentations from uh, your end user customers uh, at those partner events. I've never seen them present anywhere else. We had one uh, a couple of years ago from uh, the Yaisica Bank that we interviewed yesterday. Yep. Unbelievably good. Yep. I mean, a real sharing of knowledge yep. which you can do. And there's probably one, there's probably one or two other companies that have got that sort of size. So, what, what's your plans for the, the partner conferences going forward now that now that we've got your control of the whole yes. empire? So, really, two things. Um, Scala needs to do better work at having partner conferences on a consistent basis, getting to other regions of the world, Latin America, Asia, India, China, Japan, etc. And within those partner conferences, continuing to incentivize and build that ecosystem around Scala. 
uh, you have great exchange with the partners. We had a, a mini partner conference yesterday here at ISC, mm -hmm. but those partners exchanging ideas, communicating openly mm -hmm. with those partners is part of the great strength of Scala, sure. and it's just keeping those um, those dialogues going and yeah. growing those yeah. relationships. Well, that's good. Well, we have to thank you for allowing us to have this little broadcast sure. set on the stand. Sure. But it's been very good to get out of uh, people like Quinn and um, uh, Company, yep. uh, what they've been doing. They've right. been doing some great work, which we tend not to hear about, which we, we want to hear about. It, and there's a tremendous number of very, very talented resellers on the Scala channel that do great partner development work, and there's some that uh, take a telecine who mm -hmm. are very good at promoting that sure. and, and showing it. But there's many, many others that are just the quiet, uh, very focused, head down yeah. type guys that do brilliant work but are not very good about promoting themselves and that's what we're trying yeah. to help with as well. The, the, the difference may well be, I mean I noticed with uh, Quinn, I mean they, they come out of KPN, they're yep. IT driven, yep. so they, they are going to be, they're more, not saying they're more technical, but right. they're more um, inward looking than right. say Telecine is, yep. you know, we've got mad James Fine, right. Right. You know, content genius, and he's right. happy right. to share about everything, and a brilliant presenter, one of the best presenters that yep. we've, uh, we've ever had on the stage with us. Um, so tell us a little bit about the media stuff. I mean, you probably shook the market up a little bit when you announced this week about your new media plans. Right. It, ma it makes a lot of sense. Stratocash have been selling media for right. many, many years. Right. Tell us how that, that's going to work going forward. So I think the the success of the Scala channel is to be able to build bundled solutions for customers. So bring in media players, bring in LED, bring in display. The simpler that is for a partner, for a customer to just say, wait a minute, I can go to one port, one point, buy this kit and mm -hmm. that's everything I need. Right. We need to make that simpler and easier. That helps with the scale. And we started cash last year shipped just over 250,000 media players. This year we'll probably do 50% greater yeah. on that total. There's a scalable business there, a reliable business, and we can take away some of the pain of having to have multiple different points to build a total solution. Right, okay. Have you uh, had much of a chance to look around the rest of the show? A, a bit, uh, but there are only so many mount vendor opportunities to see the absolute great evolution in the tilt swivel mount that puts you to sleep. Okay, uh, but you must have enjoyed looking at all the Chinese LED as well. I, I know Chinese LED does touch a special place in your oh, heart. definitely, uh, yeah. I love Chinese yes, LED. I, I'm, I'm looking now at the, the Chinese translations to English and partial marketing <laughs> phrases that just so go to the benefit of working with uh, entities like yourself to help deliver a proper message. Mm -hmm in a show environment uh, where many do not seem yeah. to do that. On a, a on a serious note for a second, we had uh, Rick Cope from Nanolumens, yep. one of the LED manufacturers yep. that we do really like, uh, on a show yesterday, our yep. lunchtime show yesterday, with Peter Turner, your yep. chief product yep. officer. Uh, you know, I think, I'm not sure how many years uh, Peter Turner's been with you, but he's probably a 25 or 30 year industry close, veteran yes. with uh, old Com yep. Commodore old Amiga Commodore stuff. Yep. But the conversation we had going between those two, one was on my left and my right, was how important it was to educate people that it's not, you know, anybody could take a, an LED or a screen and, right. and hang it up do something with it with yep. a cheap piece of cheap software. Yep. But how do you manage, like you know, with your McAfee network, you've got right. the Stratagash, how do you manage 15,000 right. endpoints? Right. Um, here with uh, in the Rye Live, Quinn, I've got 700 screens. Right. They, they've got one person managing it. Right. He wants to touch a screen right. and move a few things and update things. That's the cleverness. Right. Very difficult to show right. at a show, on a booth. Right. Right. Very difficult to right. do that. I mean, we, we have a net we as Stratocash and Combined Scala have over two million licenses in the field today. Mm -hmm. We operate for customers about 750,000 active devices. We know to a great level of detail what that manpower is to be able to manage a number of devices and the more efficient that you make that management as a service provider to mm -hmm. the customer, that's the critical point. The buying and the deployment is just the very first phase of that network. Yep. It's really the care and feeding over the three year, five year, seven okay. year life of that technology. Is there, I mean, what's the what's the next big announcement we can, have you, have you done with mergers and acquisitions? No, no, not at no? all. Uh, I'm headed to the UK tomorrow for a number of discussions. Uh, you'll see multiple additional announcements as well as our formal announcement of the Lyft acquisition. Okay, good. Chris Regal, we've uh, taken up 15 minutes of your valuable time. I know you've got to go to catch a conference call, but uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.